Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the great state of Texas. More specifically, Amarillo, Texas. Even more specifically than that, I am at Jack Sizemore's Travel Land. This is a massive RV dealership here in Amarillo. But not only do they sell RVs, I'm not, not actually in the market for an RV, but they do have an RV museum. And I'm, you know, when I, when I travel the highways of America, I'm pretty much willing to pull over for anything that has the word museum at the end. So let's check this out. Follow me. So we are inside Jack Sizemore's RV Museum. This Harley Davidson motorcycle right here actually has a holster with a rather large gun inside. Kind of gives me almost a post-apocalyptic vibe. Now, we are actually allowed to go inside most of the RVs here. This is a 1941 Westcraft trailer. Let's take a peek. Oh, this is the lap of luxury right here. Got your record player. The kitchen area right there. And back here is your sleeping quarters. Hanging up there on the ceiling, we have a Airstream trailer. It says World Traveling Liner. So 1948 Europe, 1952 Central America, it's been to Africa. Huh, I guess you could put a, I guess you could put an RV on a boat. This is the 1936 Alma. You know, simple but effective. Got your little bed area there. Then your couch there where you can sit and eat your premium saltines. It's a 1937 Cozy Camp. It's like the pop-up variety. You sleep right there. And I guess that's your toilet right there. Or, or maybe that's for cooking. I, I can't say one way or the other. <laughs> Here there's another RV hanging from the ceiling. Very old school, Airstream style. There's an old drive-in menu. You drive up an order. I guess this was a, at a place called the Chubby Chicken. And look at those prices. You can get a Chubby Chicken for a dollar twenty-five. We have a little soda fountain area back here. So you got the jukeboxes blazing and we got some delicious burgers there sitting out on the table. From back in the days when they sold cigarettes out of a machine, but be careful, miners are forbidden to purchase cigarettes from this machine. Not that they can do anything about it, but it's still forbidden. Here is a 1967 VW bus. It says right here, think about how many young people from the 60s started their camping experiences in a van just like this. Definitely a classic road trip vehicle. You can see where they have painted love on the side. They have their guitar to sing, you know, hippie style music. It's a 1962 Airstream. Take a little peek. Oh, I love the little game area. People would play cards or dominoes with each other. And then look at this, the, the kitchen area. Some Coca-Cola, some Donald Duck, orange grapefruit sections, that's interesting. All the fine old timey products they have. There's the toilet shower combo. So you have your shower, you can actually shower while you're on the toilet, which probably honestly saves a lot of time. I don't know, I just wouldn't use the toilet while you're cooking dinner though at the same time because they're, they're very, very close together. 1953 Fleetwood here. I'll have a bunch of, bunch of spices out to cook with. 
some bunk beds there. Uh, what games are they playing? Tell me. New sensational party game. Reading a book about Roy Rogers. We'll peek up here in their cabinet. Ooh, look at this. Look at this bucket of pure lard. Yeah, absolutely love these old style Airstreams. Here's a 1955 model. Yes. Look at that old refrigerator they have in here. Oh, we even have a, a Viewmaster. I have a collection of these. These are so cool. What Viewmasters they got? Top Cat, Captain Kangaroo, The Seven Wonders of the World. Yeah, just look how cozy the twin beds are. Oh, I love how the mattresses have like the the curve in it to fit the shape of the Airstream. This case here is full of different camping supplies that you use. This little toy RV right there. Here's a question I want to throw out there. When did they start calling them RVs? Because I remember growing up, my grandparents, they, they had one and they always referred to it as a camper. Did it, was there a point where we stopped calling them campers and started calling them RVs? And here are some that actually have the cockpits on them. This is a FMC 1976. Peek inside here. Check out the uh, sleeping quarters. You could pack four people back here on these four different beds. I, mean, I think probably might be able to actually turn this into a bed you could put a lot of people in here and uh, you know this would be like where you eat or play cards and look up here where the driver would sit and uh, check out that camcorder there that is amazing I love that so much I also love how there's a blender built in to the kitchen counter now here is actually the world's oldest Airstream, the 1935 Torpedo. I don't think we're allowed to go inside this one because of its age, but let's take a little peek there in the window. You can see the all wood interior. Oh, this is actually a screen used movie vehicle. This was used in the Robin Williams movie RV. This wasn't the main RV that Robin Williams drove. It says this was used by the Gornet. Gornick, Gornick family. So yeah, there we see some scenes from the movie. There's a famous actor whose name is escaping me at the moment. But uh, yeah, let's take a look inside. Yeah, it says it has the family's name right there. So let's step inside here. Oh yeah, love all the old dials. Just looks so comfortable. There's so much lounging area available here. Man, this makes me want to get my own RV. And this up here reminds me of Walter White's RV from Breaking Bad. This is a 1975 Itasca. It's a uh, nice looking mobile home. Oh, love the love the flower prints. See the toilets like right in the center there. Make sure you close the door before you use the facilities. See the cooking area. Got a loaf of bread right there. Yeah, I can't get enough of that floral print. That is so cool. Here and see the steering wheel. Back when things had style. So camping area. Go into the 1966 Kenskill. Love the blue decor in the bathroom. That classic old RV toilet. Got some Bible stories out for the children to read. Little games and boxes. Some tinker toys. 
and that beautiful blue stove. 1973 Starcraft. Unfortunately, it does not take you to the stars, but it can take you on a nice camping trip with your family. It's kind of the fold out style here. Got a bed area over there. Another bed area over there at the buffet range. And play one of my favorite games, Monopoly. Oh, this is actually the National Park Monopoly edition. It's got all the different national parks, Yellowstone, Yosemite, Great Smokies is one of the green. Of course, any Monopoly player will tell you, you gotta get those orange, gotta get those orange spaces. It's an Argosy 1976, appropriately labeled the Spirit of 76. Do you think it's cool how they allow you to step inside all these RVs? It really adds something to the museum. It's a color burst Kodak camera. I've not seen one of those before, but that looks pretty, pretty neat. Some golfing hats. And then we got our bathroom with a little toilet and shower right here. It's a 1970 Avion. This is the kind that would attach to a larger vehicle. Walk around back here and take a peek. Yeah, it's pretty tight quarters in here. Sleep up there on the loft part. We have a 1973 Winnebago. And apparently this is an optimized version. It says it has every option offered. So this is the top of the line Winnebago for 1973. Again, I always love the fabric that they used in the 70s. So much more character than modern fabric. I'll look up here at the cockpit. Yes, the absolute lap of luxury. It's a telephone booth right here. Increasingly rare sight in America. I guess this is a replica of the original Jack Sizemore dealership. You can look inside there. It's that giant cash register. What's that? Is that a Kleenex dispenser? A candy machine. Another cigarette machine. Interesting how they put the big mirror in front. I wonder what the function of that was. This water cooler here contains water from Eureka Springs in the Ozarks. And what do we got up there? A Prince Albert in a can. You better let him out. And like any respectable business, closed on Sundays. See you in church. And here we have a old classic car towing a 1946 teardrop trailer, the most simplest form of RV. It's basically just a bed on wheels. Maybe that's maybe that's the one I need to get. And see this map of pins shows where visitors this museum have come from. You can see they have come from just about everywhere. But you know, RV fans are also known to be big travelers. There's the world map there. A lot of Europeans and a lot of Americans. I appreciate you guys joining me here today at Jack Sizemore's RV museum. Getting in there like really gives you like the taste for an RV. Getting in there and having your home be able to move all across the country. And it's a really romantic, awesome idea. And I've thought about it. The only problem is I just can't make, you know, I've thought about getting an RV. I just can't make it make sense. An RV, it costs a lot of money and it, the gas mileage is, is horrible. They, 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 they devour gas. So for my particular needs, I can't justify it, but who knows? Maybe someday I'll change my mind and plunk down some money on an RV. Maybe I'll come back here to Jack Sizemore's and buy one of these RVs right here. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you'd like to see other places I've been, other museums, roadside attractions, amusement parks, and other fun stuff, check the interactive map 
in the description of this video. If you'd like to support the channel, consider buying an enamel pin from the Etsy shop, consider buying a t-shirt, consider donating to Patreon, $3 or more, we'll get you a postcard once a month. But until next time, this one's in the bag.